In the spring of 1689, the Zen poet Matsuo Basho sold his small cottage on the bank of the Sumida River and set out on his walk through the depths of the North Country. That bank of the Sumida River is now part of the city of Tokyo. After walking up the east side of the country, he crossed over the mountain range to the seaports of Sakata and Kisakata and then walked down the west coast as far as Lake Biwa. The journey took five months and covered 2,000 kilometers, almost 1,200 miles. A statue of Basho marks the beginning of his walk, which will take him through many landscapes and seascapes of supreme natural beauty, most of which are now furnished with a statue of the itinerant poet, a standing or sometimes sitting reminder of the man constantly on the road who kept passing through. A third of the way along his journey, on leaving the town, now the city of Sendai, Basho walked along a rice paddy on a path known as the narrow road to the deep interior. The road is now much less narrow and more traveled than then and fraught with bustle and traffic. Not far along that road, Basho stopped to admire the jewel stream at Noda, one of six streams in Japan to merit in poetry the prefix jewel. Nowadays it is somewhat constricted by concrete, but if one looks with a charitable eye, one may still find beauty in the modernization. On his way back, almost all the way down the west coast at the inlet of Yoshizaki, Basho took a boat out to the famous Tide Cross Pines, celebrated by many great poets over the centuries. Thinking he could not compose a better poem, he wrote no haiku here. But now the pines are gone, cut down to make way for the fairway of a golf course. The seas here are rough and stormy, and the removal of the pines has weakened the coastline. Plans are being made to plant pines along the coast again, so as to make the land more secure. A bit further south, on his last excursion to the edge of land and sea, Basho and some companions take a boat out to Ironohama, colored beach, which gets its name from a poem by Saigyo. Basho writes, How lonely now here, even more than at Suma on this autumn beach. They all drank tea and warmed sake to lend cheer to the autumn evening. Brought in by the waves and mixing with tiny shells, bush clover petals, now, just around the next bay, is a nuclear power plant.